support that I needed. I was also faced with disbelief and judgment. This has put a strain on my selection of men and relationships. But many relationships became aggressive and abusive, which has made me feel even more alone in my struggles. I go through spells of being distant and withdrawn that it's sometimes so hard to leave my house. The trauma of the assault has taken a toll on my mental health. I've had PTSD, depression. This complaint is 1 colon 24 hyphen CV hyphen 07 201. In her lawsuit, Thalia, through her attorneys, sues Sean Diddy Combs, also known as the defendant, and another individual and other entities. The complaint alleges in part in the first cause of action that defendant Combs and another defendant committed a, quote, violation of New York City Victims of Gender Motivated Violence Protection Act by viciously and violently forcing contact intercourse on the plaintiff, end quote. In addition, the complaint alleges in the second cause of action that defendant Combs and another defendant committed a violation of New York civil rights law, quote, section 52 hyphen B, end quote, by quote, plaintiff, and reporting it. Defendants caused plaintiff to be de depicted in a video image, unclothed and with intimate body parts exposed and engaged in conduct with another person, end quote. The lawsuit also alleges that, quote, defendant Combs and another defendant published and or disseminated the videos without plaintiff's knowledge or consent. On information and belief, defendants have continued to disseminate the video, including by selling it through the present, end quote. In our complaint, we ask that, quote, defendants should be ordered to account for and destroy all copies of the video that are in their actual or constructive possession, custody, or control, end quote. And that, quote, defendants should be temporarily and permanently enjoined from further disseminating or publishing any intimate videos of plaintiff, end quote. We also allege in the third cause of action that Combs and another defendant committed a violation of New York City Administrative Code, Section 10-180, quote, recording and showing others the video of themselves violently the plaintiff and the defendants disclosed an intimate image of plaintiff without her consent, end quote. As a result of these and other allegations in our complaint, we request that judgment be entered against defendants as follows. Awarding compensatory damages for all physical injuries, emotional distress, psychological harm, anxiety, humiliation, physical and emotional pain and suffering, family and social disruption and other harm in an amount to be determined at trial. Awarding punitive damages in an amount to be determined at trial. Awarding attorney's fees and costs pursuant to any applicable statute or law, including under New York City Administrative Code, Section 10, hyphen 1104, New York Civil Rights Law, I welcome you guys back on here if you're new consider subscribing liking and also share this video so 
Jason Lee, you know, uh, the owner of Hollywood Unlocked, that blogger has been coming out, you know, to give his thoughts on the Puffy Sean Combs DD stories. And, you know, this time around, he has come out, come, uh, he has come out and mentioned a couple of names he actually saw with his own eyes that were attending, you know, DD's parties. You know, he mentioned a couple of names here and there. He threw in TD Jakes, uh, that was a popular figure. Um, just at the beginning of the year, we saw even a couple of clips that were circulating of TD Jakes, that popular bishop, you know, attending one of Diddy's parties. Then he also mentioned a couple of other big names. But this time around, Ray J, one of the names that actually attended the so many parties Diddy organized, came out, came out and said that he's coming out clean about Diddy's notorious parties. He, however, insists there is nothing um, to see in terms of criminal behavior and he did not see anything anything absolutely nothing that were that i mean that was shocking at a time ever i mean ever since he attended uh, those parties the singer was interviewed by chris cuomo on the news nation's cuomo and you know he gave a window into his decades long relationship with sean combs did he zeroing in on what the feds were illicit so is Ray J and uh, told the reporter that he and other entertainers frequently, of course, uh, attended Diddy's gatherings, yet he never saw anything related to trafficking or any other serious crimes as detailed in the federal indic indictment against uh, the music mogul. Ray J put it this way in his own words. <laughs> you know, when I was listening to him, he was like, you know, we've never seen uh, the stuff that's being said and uh, the stuff that people are finding out like I've never been in rooms that people are talking about and I've, I never knew they even existed obviously Ray J is a very close friend uh, to Didi we don't think he can really come out and spill the tea spill the beans you know in this situation but of course we cannot preempt the case let us let the feds do their investigations of course right about now Didi is in the prison He's, he was you know arrested and uh, just uh, a couple of days ago his bell was denied and he's still in there in the prison now of course we're waiting to see how this whole case um, unfolds but he pleaded not guilty to the charges and like i've told you he was denied the bell twice while he's still incarcerated at the metropolitan detention center that is in brooklyn where he awaits the trial